My name is Bill McCleary. I'm from the San Francisco Bay Area where I grew up. I have been here at BYU for 24 years and I'm an associate professor. Uh, I came to BYU uh, from West Virginia University where I was on the faculty of the medical school there. And I didn't enjoy teaching medical students. Uh, and uh, because of uh, that, when an opening came here at BYU, um, I uh, applied and uh, I wanted to be able to have a teaching opportunity where I would have uh, re develop relationships with undergraduate students. In our lab, we study uh, bacterial signal transection. So what that means is we are interested in how bacteria sense their surroundings and respond uh, to those changes in the environment. We also have chosen to study how cells respond to changes in phosphate levels. Now phosphorus is an important component of all cells. Uh, cells have uh, developed important mechanisms that are conserved across life for preserving the amount of phosphate uh, within the cell. Uh, we study those adaptive mechanisms to make sure that cells have the right levels of phosphate. Uh, the graduate students that I've had in my lab have gone on uh, to careers in uh, science. Uh, we have one who's a, a faculty member at a university in Kansas right now. Uh, we have uh, others who are out in the working environment. Uh, we even have uh, uh, women that have decided that after pursuing a, a graduate degree they wanted to be stay-at-home moms. And, uh, uh, they have done that and now that their kids are starting to get older, I'm kind of old, uh, they uh, are returning to the workplace as teachers at, at community colleges. I've been studying bacterial signal transduction since I was a graduate student at UC Berkeley uh, and trying to understand how bacteria have complex behaviors. We don't usually think of bacteria having behavior, but they do. As a postdoctoral fellow at Princeton, I uh, then learned how bacteria are able to control their swimming uh, based upon environmental stimuli. Uh, I took uh, the principles that I learned from uh, my graduate work and postdoctoral work and wanted to apply them to a, another system that wasn't being uh, studied very much. And so that one was phosphate signal transduction in bacteria. It has become a very interesting topic to me because of its uh, relevance to everyday life. Some genes that are regulated by phosphate in other organisms cause disease. The problems that we have in Utah Lake uh, with algal blooms are because there's overabundance of phosphate uh, in Utah Lake, which causes certain types of bacteria to grow up to high levels and cause disease. Uh, we're trying to understand the, the mechanisms uh, by which cells can take phosphate from the environment, uh, perhaps to sequester it to improve uh, life's quality.